Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the number one place to live in Union County as of 2024, which is going to be New Providence, New Jersey. And like all of our other videos, we're going to talk about the schools, commute, things to do in the town, and the overall lifestyle. Oh, we're going to find New Providence and pretty much why it was ranked number one. So make sure you stay tuned. Okay, so New Providence is gonna be located basically on the Wachong Mountains. That means it's gonna be northwest of Union County. It's bordering Summit, Berkeley Heights, and then it splits, um, the Passaic River goes right. through it, so it splits Morris County and um, New Providence. So it's also gonna be next to Chatham. So what you're gonna find in this town is that it's very suburban. Right. Um, it's very quiet, um, upscale as well. Yeah. It's known for having excellent school systems and a lot of recreational amenities throughout the town. It's gonna be like that small town feel. You're gonna be surrounded by, you know, when you go to West Union County, right. a lot of those towns and boroughs and even cities are gonna be that small community feel. But what I really love about New Providence is that it's surrounded by really good towns. So it has Berkeley Heights, like you said, and most Summit. importantly, Summit, that is like one of the cities here in Union County. And you're gonna find a lot of cool things that you might not find in New Providence, but you're gonna definitely find in Summit. It's going to mostly consist of two major um, shopping plazas, which is gonna be the hub for residents. And one of them is gonna be the Village Center, which is gonna be the biggest one located on Springfield Ave. There you're gonna find the bigger retail names. Right. You're gonna find the Acme Supermarket, which is probably gonna be the go-to place when it comes yeah. to you know shopping. And you're also, what's cool about it is that they do have a butcher shop. Yeah. So you can get all your fresh deli there, your fresh meat, which is very necessary when it comes to, um, you know, finding those things in the towns. And then you're also going to have other big retails like Starbucks, the Chipotle. As per fitness, you're going to find the Orange Theory. Okay. And then you're also going to have um, a yoga studio, which is pretty cool because it's hot yoga and right. then it incorporates infrared. So that's pretty cool. And I also want to mention, you have that plaza there, the village. And then on Springfield, if you have a little one right next door, they're also going to find like little shopping centers right. as well. A lot of, you're going to have the subway. You're going to have a few other like local um, um, businesses. But on that big one on the right side in the village, it's going to be like the bigger, bigger um, right. plaza. And then you continue down Springfield Ave at the corner of it. You're going to also going to have like smaller um, mom and pop and pop shops as well. You're gonna have jewelry store, you're gonna have salons, you're gonna have cafes. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. it's kind of, that's like the little section that people are gonna consider the downtown area. But like Laura said, it's not really like a downtown you're gonna find in Summit or in Westfield, but you're definitely gonna find everything you probably need as a local New Providence. And for the second plaza, it's gonna go a little bit more south on Center Ave. That's gonna be a lot smaller, but your stuff you're gonna find a lot of the things you might need, okay? You're not gonna find maybe like the bigger amenities you're gonna find in the village, but you're gonna find like little um, mom and pop shops as well. You're gonna find, you know, your pizzerias, the Chinese food, you know, grab and goes. And that's also gonna be located across the street from Murray Hill Tennis and then also the fitness centers as well. And for you to know, between two plazas, you're only a few minutes away. So, right. you know, New Providence is not big at all. It's around 3.7 square miles going around. So you're gonna find a lot of the amenities you need very nearby wherever you're living in New Providence. Right. And if you are looking to make that move to New Providence. I'm Luke with this floor, your relocation team here. We're dropping videos every Monday and Friday, so make sure you subscribe, hit that bell so you're notified every single time you want uh, we upload a video. And if you are looking to make this move, make sure to give us a call. Our number's gonna be coming up any second now. We'd love to help you guys out and we'd love to make you help you make that big move here. And as for other amenities, it does have the Untied Brewery, um, which is pretty cool. It does have the Lensi Wilderness Trails which is pretty cool because it also has the watch on reservation which it has even more trails for you to explore and you're pretty much getting that kind of feel throughout the town and besides having those amenities in new providence you're also going to have summit right next door which has a downtown area like i mentioned before that's a super nice older feel downtown area that has a lot of like the newer mixture with a lot of new people coming into the town so there you're probably like a 10 minute drive from there you have westfield downtown as well a little bit further out but it's also nearby and that's all going to be in union county and I feel like New Providence is a cool location where you're gonna find the affordability factor based on the West Union County, that we're gonna talk a little bit later on in the video. And you're gonna find that kind of nice down, that nice quiet neighborhood feel in the town itself. 
Okay, so New Providence is not really that big, but it is divided into different neighborhoods. And we got this information really based on uh, Neighborhood Scout. And on the northern part of New Providence is gonna be Borough Center or like the Oakwood Park. And that's, so, you know, first of all, New Providence is all suburban, okay? So you're not really gonna get much of an urban feel, but at least in that section, since so you're very near like that downtown area, you're really near transportation options. There is certain parts that might get a little bit more, I guess, commercialized commercialized and a little you might find some gas stations you might find a few like Laura said commercial buildings but the more northern you go the less kind of that feel you get everywhere you go new problem is going to be very suburban you're going to have like tree light roads as well so you know don't get me wrong the cool thing with that area it is that you're going to be very near a lot of the major amenities of new providence but like i said it is all suburban so don't be afraid to go into those northern parts so next you have new providence west that's going to be in the western part of new providence and what you're going to find there is that you're going to see a lot of tree-lined streets um it's going to be definitely more suburban definitely more quieter it's going to be more further away from the train stations and from the downtown centers there's definitely going to be a lot more green space a lot more trees um it's going to have those that type of feel and you're not going to really see a lot of commercial development there and then last neighborhood is murray hill that's kind of in the southern and all eastern part of new providence it's the largest neighborhood and the big reason people move there is because it's considered like kind of the transportation hub because it does have its own train station and we're going to touch base in a little bit and it's nice that you're getting kind of that easy commute because there is two train stations in new province that's very uncommon for a lot of towns and cities in union county and that murray hill plate um, area you're gonna get like everywhere else a suburban kind of feel you're gonna get very big real estate and you know it's not gonna maybe be as big as the western part but you're still gonna get nice real estate there and it's still near the downtown area. You're very close to kind of the watch on reservation. So you're very nicely easy commute to there. And it's pretty much like, you know, all new problems is very similar. But the thing, the big thing with that Murray Hill area is that Murray Hill train station. So when it comes to transportation, New Providence is super convenient because it has two train stations. It has the Murray Hill train station, which is gonna be in the Murray Hill um, neighborhood. That's gonna take you like about an hour to get to the city. And then you also have the New Providence train station, which is gonna be a little less, maybe like 45 minutes to an hour. Um, if you wanted a direct line, you also have the option of the Summit train station, right. which would be maybe a five minute commute um, from the New Providence one. However, the New Providence train stations, they do connect to the Summit one and to Newark as well, but that will take you to Hoboken, to New York Penn. So it's very convenient when it comes to um, the transportation. That Murray Hill one has a lot of stops. So if you are trying to go to the city, you might not want to go to that one, but it's really cool because you will take it definitely throughout Union County and mm -hmm. throughout different areas so and that Murray one is mostly for like the locals there but if you are commuting to the city it might be a good bet to either go to the New Providence one so even better to summit one a little further away and if you want to take the bus to the city which I don't advise but you could take it it's on Springfield Avenue it's going to take you a little bit further of a commute but you do have that option If you want to drive you have the I-78 you have the Garden State Parkway you have the Turnpike but more than likely you're going to take the I-78 all tall, all tall highway, so all commute is going to be roughly the same, but I believe the I-70 is going to be a little bit faster. Right. And also something really cool in Union County, you're very nearby the Newark International Airport. You're not like 16 miles away. 16 miles away, that should be around maybe 25 to 30 minute drive. And you have that ability to go there. Um, and it's nice that you have a lot of commuting options in this town. And honestly, throughout the whole town, or throughout the whole county of Union County, it's kind of known for that suburban feel of New York City and still having the transportation to get there into super fast. So when it comes to the real estate, um, New Providence is actually very limited on inventory right now. Um, I was checking the, you know, the system the other day and there's probably maybe two houses on the market um, as of April 1st. Um, but you know, a single family house there is going about like 776,000. But compared to the surrounding areas, it's very much affordable. Right. You have like Summit right next door that you're hitting the 1.2s. You have two Chathams, Chatham Township, Chatham Borough. Mm -hmm. One is at a million and the one is around the 900,000s. And then you have Berkeley Heights pretty much exactly the same as New Providence. 
So you're getting that affordability mine. It's not affordable, but it's affordable for Western Union County. And you're still going to get a lot of the luxuries that other towns might not have and you might find in New Providence. Right. Just note that, you know, if you're um, looking into the Western area of Union County, everything's going to be a little bit higher when it comes to real estate. And something else, kind of the type of styles of homes you're going to find in New Providence, you're going to find a lot of different styles you're going to find maybe in like Berkeley Heights. You're going to have split levels, colonials. The more western you go, the bigger the colonials are going to be. Right, right. You obviously are going to find a lot of customs and there's a lot of houses there that are obviously hitting over a million dollars easily and they're going to be very big homes. So much opportunity when it comes to real estate, but unfortunately right now with the market is going, there's not a lot of properties being sold. So if you do get your hands on a new Providence property, you know it's definitely going to be a benefit in the future. So when it comes to the real estate, you can probably find something a little outdated, um, not too crazy, around the 500,000. Right. And then once you start going into the high sixes and sevens, um, you're going to find that everything starts to get a little bit more updated, uh, a lot of better finishes. Right. Um, the Murray Hill section is definitely a totally different type of real estate. Right. Um, depending so that's probably gonna be around the 870s and a big reason for that is because the train station is right there and a lot of people that are commuting and want that easy accessibility are probably gonna buy in that area and that's obviously inflating the price a little bit there and we left the best for last it's gonna be the school districts it's ranking an A plus on niche.com with two elementary school one middle school one high school super good because like we mentioned before summit has the same kind of ranking but the prices of real estate are doubled. So you're getting the same kind of benefits here in New Providence with the more affordable real estate and still getting a kind of a small town feel. So like Luca mentioned, when it comes to the school district, it's an amazing school district. It has a lot to offer. It's won the National Brew Ribbon um, Award. It's also top 10 schools in New Jersey. And then it's also an AP Honor Roll recipient, which is amazing. Also, another thing I do like about the school district is that they put a lot of emphasis in the students' mental health. I know they have a lot of, they offer a lot of um, courses and classes on personal growth and development, emotional development. So they really put a lot of emphasis on that. And that's something that a lot of the locals um, who have kids in those schools really, really like about this specific school district. And then also when it comes to um, the one-on-one -on -one with teachers, I know they have a lot of technology. They're really big on technology to have to use it as a tool um, with the students. I know they give their students iPads and they use it as a tool to, you know, engage with the teacher. You can have like one-on-one -on -one so that, you know, they have something more personalized. And that's pretty cool because, you know, like we mentioned before, you're getting kind of a cool package in New Providence. It's not a big town, but if you could get your hands on the real estate there, I definitely recommend doing that. And that's kind of New Providence in a nutshell. A lot of these western parts of Union County are going to be very similar. So you're definitely going to be able to find that affordability factor in New Providence. But if you are looking to move to New Providence, Union County, New Jersey in general, make sure to reach out to us. We're the relocation team here. Again, I'm local. This is Laura. And we'll love to help you guys out. But if you guys aren't ready yet, that's completely fine. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment and say what you think about the videos. And we'll love to talk to you soon.